Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a quick dashboard in Excel. So let's say we're starting out with this data set here. So very quickly, what is this data set about? It's about used cars. We have eight features and about 150 used cars here represented in the rows. So we have a decent amount of data to start with. You can glance over at the different fields. What I'm going to basically look for is kind of gaining some kind of insights from these fields. Looking at the data like this, not very insightful. If you have a lot of Excel skills, of course you can use formulas like average ifs, sum ifs, count ifs, uh, etc. to kind of start grouping these things and learning a little bit about what you're looking at instead of just glancing at this data. But what if you want to make a more interactive, dynamic dashboard very quickly? So what we're going to use are pivot tables, but I'm going to assume you've used pivot tables a little. If not, please watch my uh, multi-part series on pivot tables where I go through a lot of the different features slowly in detail, actually using this exact same data set. Here I'm going to assume you know a little bit about pivot tables, so I'm going to jump right in and jump into making a quick pivot uh, table and then uh, some dashboardy kind of feel to the pivot table. So first thing is, I'm going to highlight the entire data set. I'm going to go into insert, pivot table. I'm going to, I've already selected, I'm going to let it exist on a new sheet. So I start with the pivot table, here are my fields. So let's actually have some kind of, uh, let's put the make in the columns. Let's put the price in the values and let's put the color, no, um, yeah, no, let's do transmission in the rows. So typically I'm trying to keep a numerical field for values and a non-numerical field for the columns and rows. So already I have something that looks somewhat interesting, uh, packing a lot of information. Maybe instead of sum of price, average price is more fitting, so I can change that. Uh, I'm going to do a little formatting, obviously, dashboard should look somewhat decent. Um, yeah, so we could leave this as is, or we can pack a little more information if we like. Let's say like transmit, no, this is good. Uh, in fact, let me change the rows and the columns here. This is a little bit nicer. Okay, now clicking on the pivot table, I'm going to get rid of grand totals. So in the pivot tools up here, I'm going to click design. I'm going to click grand totals off. Then I'm going to choose a couple of these presets and see something that kind of looks nice to me, fits my style. I kind of like this. It's a simple pivot table, I know. So Okay, and I'm going to you could choose banded rows or columns if you like, however you wish, click or unclick. That's just the style. So have at it. Uh, I'm going to format these a bit to be comma separated with no decimals. Okay, now a pivot chart could be useful here. So let's make a pivot chart as well. So again, pivot tools. So we're going very quickly. This is not intended to show you how to do each of these steps, but actually to if you have done each of these things already, to put them together in a kind of maybe a novel way. So I go to, to analyze pivot chart. I'm going to choose a very basic clustered column chart. Okay, great. So I got myself a column chart. I can go over to design and make it look cooler if I like. Uh, change the color scheme maybe to a little bit closer to what my table looks like. Um, yeah, okay. So apparently I'm going with the green route. Okay. This could be... Uh, this, this chart, as you can see, is driven off of the pivot table. So if I change anything on the pivot table, it will automatically update on the pivot chart. Of course, you know that if you are flying through this as with me. So for example, I'm looking at just manual cars here. And now I'm looking at both automatic and manual. So that updates. Um, next thing I might want to add to give this a little flair and more interactivity is some slicers. So we'll actually end off making some slicers here. So I'm going to go to pivot chart tools. If you lose that, by the way, click on the pivot table 
sorry, pivot table tools, analyze. Insert slicer. We're going to add a couple slicers. One's the color of the cars, and then maybe one for uh, the year of the cars. Okay. And we'll place these like this. So this will give people interacting with this, or maybe it's just me, some capability to play around with the pivot table interactively. So I can look at black cars, blue cars, gold cars, gray cars, green cars, and watch how everything is updating, on both in the pivot table and in the pivot chart, right? I could look at black and blue cars using control, black, blue, and gold cars, or green and gray cars, or just red cars, or all of the colors. And then I could look at years as well. So I could look at just year 2000. Apparently there was only red and green cars. I'm looking at, by the way, the average price for each of these slices, right? I could look at from the year 2000 to the year 2010 by holding shift and exclude 2011 and 2012 and then look at black and blue cars in those years. So these slicers give me the ability to play around with different subsets of my original data and I could remove all of them to get back to a default view. So I'm going to leave them on the default uh, unfiltered settings. I can actually add maybe one more thing. I could add a filtered field here, maybe year. And the filters doesn't really change anything, but it gives me some more controls. And then now I can finally kind of sit, kick back and take a look at what happened. I can add um, a couple aesthetic things I could do. I could get rid of the grid lines. Um, and I can minimize the ribbon. There's a few things you could do to make this look even less like a spreadsheet and more like a, a dashboard, which is really trendy nowadays and, and useful. Don't get me wrong. Um, so now you've created within, uh, well, with, with all my talking and uh, prep, um, you've created a dashboard in uh, under five minutes uh, that someone can actually uh, glean uh, a lot of information from and it's very easy to use. So I hope this was helpful. Of course this was very quick and it wasn't meant to go through each of the parts. We made a pivot table, we made, made a pivot chart, we made uh, and we inserted a couple slicers. Um, I'm assuming you have some experience with each of these. If not, watch my tutorial videos where I actually teach you how to use each of these tools, how to create them, how to develop them. This was to bring them all together in a really quick uh, lesson on making dashboards. So uh, I hope you approve. I hope this was helpful to you. Make sure to subscribe to Jaleer Academy, comment, share, come back. I have tons of videos, over 400 tutorial videos on various topics, including more on Excel. Uh, so till next time, have a great day.